you've tuned into this video because you want to go from that to this or from this right here to this or maybe even from this to this or even from this to this. Let's show you how to do it. All right, so everybody has that junk drawer. Everybody has messy kitchen drawers and you need them to be organized. Trust me, it's gonna make your life so much better. First thing you need to do is pick one drawer, start with one, don't do them all, and empty it out. Take everything out of there, purge what you don't need, and see what you really do need and what you really do use. You'll find that there's a lot of stuff in those kitchen drawers that you don't really use very regularly. Take it all out, see what you need most, and measure that space. All right, so to make custom drawer dividers, we're gonna use a little bit of plywood. We use quarter inch plywood to make a base that is just under the size of the actual drawer. Then we're gonna rip down two inch pieces of half inch thick plywood. These are gonna be the dividers. We're gonna use these to create custom spaces for each of these drawers. Now, I can't tell you exactly how to organize your drawer because it's gonna depend on what you have in there. But what you're really gonna do is get some nails, some wood glue, some screws, whatever you have, and just put those pieces together to form a space that matches your needs. You can see here that I'm nailing through the quarter inch plywood into half inch plywood on the bottom. On the last one, I used wood glue and clamped it down. Create those custom zones for what you need, whether it's silverware, your utensils, or the junk. Then add a little paint so it doesn't look like plywood inside of your drawer and also make sure you add a sealant. You never know what drips down into a drawer and you want to be able to clean it easily. Then, once everything's painted, it's time to put it back. This is the fun part. So you put the divider in and start filling it up in your new space. These customized spaces are gonna feel so much better and so much easier to access what you need. You can see that they slide in. Sometimes you might have to move some things around based on what you really initially thought you would, but mostly they're gonna be great. Remember to put the things you use most often in the front and the things that you use less often in the back. This would include anything that might be holiday related or baking related, but make sure you use those things you use the most right up front so they're easy to grab. Don't forget that wrap and junk drawer. Make little custom slots for each of those boxes to go in and leave yourself a little bit of room for your junk in the front. Look at these drawers. Don't they look so much more organized and everything has a place. It's easy to find it. We have more information on how you can do this at our website, charlestoncrafted.com. Go get organized.